Hello Internet people. In this video, I'll show you how to make a free logo for your website. After this video, you could have a logo like this. Or maybe funky one, like this. Or more serious, like this one. It's really up to you. We will use an online tool called Canva and I will show you how you can get a logo with a transparent background for free. And as a bonus, I'll show you a tool to help you with coming up with ideas for your logo. Arnie, how does that sound? I'll tell you what I think of it. I live to see you eat that logo design. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist. Tip sweat punch. Before we start, I just want to mention that nothing can replace a professional designer. And your website logo is one of the first things that a person sees when they come to your site. So once you can, you should invest in a professional design logo. That said, when you're starting out or you're just doing this as a hobby, you want to keep the cost to minimal. So everything I show you in this video is free. So you can keep more of your money like this. All right, let's get started. For this tutorial, we're going to use an online tool called Conva.com. The URL will be in the description, but when you land on it, you'll need to sign up for this platform. Otherwise you can't use the different templates they have. So for example, if you sign up with an email, it's super easy. You just add name, email, and password, and you're good to go. And since I have already an account, I'm just gonna log in. All right, when you land on, on canva.com, uh, you'll be greeted with this homepage and immediately you see that there's a lot of different templates to choose from. So you can have posters, Facebook covers, Pinterest covers, and you can also have cards, emails, whatever you need, you have in Canvas dashboard. They have a lot of templates. Arnie, what's your favorite template? Cocaino. There's a lot of things to choose from and it's fairly easy to use. If you ever use Microsoft PowerPoint or uh, just Word, this is pretty much the same, how you change things on the screen and how you resize and rotate them if you want to. So let's go uh, on the left menu, let's go to the templates. Here you see some options, but we're interested in the logo right now. Okay, and once you start scrolling down, you can see that there's few options to filter it, but maybe on the first time you just wanna get to know to, this, to all the options, and there's a lot of them, so if you just scroll down, uh, you see a lot of options for your logo. Uh, obviously, you should uh, use them as a just a template and then start modifying them. If you scroll down, just look what you like. And try to find something as smooth as this guy. Hi, young man. We'll meet again. But if you need more ideas for your logo, so the ones that on canva.com, don't really match what you're looking for. You can use a website like mybrandnewlogo.com and it's super simple to use. You just type in your company name, your slogan if you want to, and then you give a few keywords in English. And you choose color palette you want to use and it will generate some logos for you. And it will literally generate a lot of them. So if you just keep scrolling, it will keep showing you new things. And I find this website a really great place to get some inspiration because they also have this like all kinds of shapes and also just text and with some icons. Hey, don't worry if you're lost like John. Just find a few you like and go from there. I'll pick this one. I like the little computer there. What you can also do is you kind of lock down the elements there, but you can it will suggest you new layouts for that same idea. So for example, here the computer is bigger, or maybe you want it like this, like that. Computer in a circle. But let's say I kind of like this one, so I want to play around with the colors as well. So now it will keep the same layout but then it will show you the same thing in different colors. Let's use this as the base. So just click on edit. And once it's done here, you can actually still update this one. But since we're just using this for inspiration, 
uh, you could save this logo. You need to log in at this point if you want to save it. Um, but let's say I like it, I'm going to save it. So now what you can do is use this as your sort of a guide, as your muse, and then recreate this in canva.com. Oh, really? Hey, if you like this video so far, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button. That would help me a lot. Thanks. So let's say I like this template for my YouTube project. I uh, you just click into it. And then it gives you an option to use this template. So here, as with many editors, you have on left all kinds of things to choose from. So you have the templates, photos, elements. This is the thing we're going to use the most. One thing about photos, you shouldn't use them for the logo because they're basically not covered with the copyright. So just keep the images for logos and go directly with elements or text. Uh, one thing I want to mention that is you actually can upload your own images or videos, but make sure if you upload anything here is that you have the full rights to use them. If you want more extensive library of copyright free photos and icons, Check the description for a link to video showing you the best websites for that. Okay, make it quick because my horse is getting tired. So let's start by clicking and changing this this title to something that is mine. So let's say tips with punch. And yeah, obviously when you click on the element, you can resize it or you can also rotate it here. Uh, and then if you right click on the element, you have more options here. And here on the top, you can choose colors. Let's say I want to go with a bit more. You can change it. And then what you can do also is these grids or actually any of the things you have here, you can use them as a background. Uh, let me show you. Let's say these frames. So for example, this one, you can just change the color to something more suitable. Resize it and then just send it back and you'll see that you have a bit of background. And I know you're feeling as amazed as this lady. Why are you running? Why are you running? In this case, you don't even need this four here. You could just run with that. But I actually want these bars. I'm going to keep them. And I'm going to delete this thing. And actually, what if we just delete one of these and make it three as well? And then we need to align them. And then the subheading. Actually, this is maybe not necessary. I want to keep it simple. I'm just going to resize it. Let's add a bit of color. Okay, maybe that was too much. And basically this element is now, you can see here that you can ungroup it. So if you do that, you can actually adjust this one as well. And now if you're happy with this, you can just keep it like this. And the thing with Canva is that you can download it in different formats. So PNG is the best to use here, especially if you have transparent background. Now, one thing is that you need the premium account to use the transparent background. And if you're feeling like this, yeah! everything's premium. Don't worry, we're gonna go around this by using another tool. And uh, to make that happen, what we need to do is to make the background like really different color. So uh, choose a color that is uh, very different from what you have on the Canva right now. So for example, I don't have any reds here. So choose that one. We're going to remove this with another online tool, but we need to make sure that the color is very different from anything you have. And then just download it. Again, let's use PNG. You could also download JPEG. It has a smaller file size, but it's also quite compressed. And save it. And then I'll leave this 
link in the description, but it's basically this online PNG tools.com, which we will use to actually remove the background. So here on the left where it says PNG, click on it and then select the logo we just created. And as you can see, it already automatically recognizes which background it needs to remove. So this is why it's important that we choose a color that doesn't exist there yet. And then we need to just double check that nothing has been removed here in the logo. But as you can see, it's all good. If anything, you can always uh, adjust things here. So you can actually select which color to remove from the picture. So you can adjust it here. And then you can adjust how much it matches the similar color tones. But I'm quite happy with what we have here. So we just can either copy to clipboard or save as and then download. Now let's take a look at the finished product. Yeah, that's nice. Especially when it will be on the website, it will look sharp and it has no background. So we can use it anywhere now. So now when someone comes to you like this, you can tell them. What you been feeding this thing? Logo maker. My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. All right, now you can go to WordPress or to your HTML website and actually upload it. Let me show quickly how to do it in WordPress. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and what we need to do is to go to media and add new and then select the correct file. So it's uploaded here. So what you need to do to go here and click on edit. Here you have edit image. And what you need to do is crop the image a little bit. And you can do it with this thing here. You select it and then you can drag and drop. You could keep it as a, as a square, but in my navigation, a more rectangular will work better. Once you're happy, just click again on the crop tool. I should have named this image a bit better. This is really not descriptive or anything. No problemo. Um, but just for an example, this will do fine. Give it the alternative text. You can just click on save. Okay, now the image is updated, so we can use it anywhere on the site. So let's say we want to place it in the header. That's usually done in the customizer. And here usually it's in site identity. So if you open up, you have the logo section here. And again, this just depends on your theme. Uh, and let's say I don't want this anymore. I'll change the logo to the one we just created. Select. Again, you could crop it here. I wanted all of it. And you see it's updated here. Now this logo doesn't really fit here. I should have made it white, but I think you get the point. Just don't forget to publish this and then your logo will go live like you see it here. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!